Hey everyone, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. Today we are going to set up a Firebase push notification in our Flutter app where we have covered how to handle our notification in both the foreground and background state. At the same time we have also learned how to send image along with the notification and how to replace a default Flutter icon with the custom one during sending notification and it will display the custom icon during notification appear where at that time we have sent a notification from firebase console and it will appear in the real time in our app whether it will open or running the app is in the background this is the demo that we have present and after this demo let's start the complete video and learn something awesome okay let's start first i'll create the brand new flutter project our project is ready let's open the new project that we have created the next steps that we have required to achieve the flutter push notification is we need to set up our flutter project with firebase this is the default counter application next we'll set up our flutter project with firebase i'll use the flutter fire cli first let's create the project in firebase i'll give the name to push notification and continue from here we didn't need the gemini here i'll disable it and enable the google analytics it doesn't matter if you want enable it or disable it and select the default account for firebase and create a new flutter project our firebase project is ready to set up i'll use the flutter fire cli to set up our flutter project with firebase if you want the complete video to set up your flutter project with firebase using the cli then visit my channel i'll already create it but this is just simple if you have do it for the first time first log in using this command and next from here and copy this to command and paste it in your terminal okay this is my first command it will check firebase cli is in your system or not it will be activate in my system and i'll copy the next command and paste it here and it will set up all the required things for android ios web i'll choose all the platform and just hit enter and that's it it will do everything itself during this time let's add the package first package that we have required is firebase core and next package that we have required is flutter local notification and third package that we have required is firebase messaging still is in the progress it takes just a minute and another good thing is that is we didn't require any setup for firebase messaging firebase core in for background and foreground notification we didn't require any setup for android if you just click here android section and if you read it all it said to schedule the notification the following changes are needed if you want to schedule notification then just you need to add these things in your manifest file otherwise you you didn't need to do any things okay everything will be completed our firebase setup is successfully completed here let's add the firebase core package next thing is firebase messaging and third package that we have required is flutter local notification comma to separate the package and just hit enter all three packages will be added at once okay let's check it yeah all three packages will be added before we start to run project first we need to initialize it just make it async the main function and initialize before firebase setup widget flutter binding dot ensure initialize and next just go there and next it from here and copy this two line and just fetch it here and import the firebase core package and import again import the firebase option dot dot file it will attach all the required things to set up our flutter project with firebase after that continue to console firebase setup will be completed let's try to run it is everything is perfect or not run the app okay we have faced some error your project is configured with android ndk 26.3 but 
following plugin depend on the different android ndk version firebase core require at least 27.0 ndk version just copy it from here and go to the android app build.gradle and just add the new required version that's it for it next thing that is firebase local notification require a core library just share just add the each core library enable that's it that's your task just save it from here and rerun the app and let's see everything will be solved or not next things that will be it's a please add the dependency we we have also need to add the dependency for firebase local notification this dependency is required just save it and let's see it will be solved or not okay this time everything will be perfect and the app is working perfectly let's start to implement the push notification in our app just create the new folder which is service inside this service i'll create the notification service dot dot file inside this function first steps that we have required is we need to set up the plugin to show the local notification on this device that means we we need an instance for firebase messaging to manage the push notification for that first things that we have required is we need a local notification and instance for firebase messaging for managing the push notification next things that we have required is background message handler this function is called when the notification is received while the app is killed or is in the background state and this is required so the dart vm can invoke this message in the background isolate during this time firebase must be initialized in the background initialize the local notification plugin and show the notification we have required these two things that we have created here first we have show the local notification when message is received this all things that i have copied from the firebase local notification package if you go to the example section here all thing will be mentioned here just read this documentation and just copy the things that you have required i have required to show the local notification that's why i'll call this function and next things that i have required is initializing the local notification system for both android and ios and at the same time we have also changed the icon of the notification as a default flutter logo will be appear if you wants to display the some different icon then you need to change it for that you have required one small size icon just like this and import this icon inside the android app src main race and driver here you need to place this icon your first task is this and next things that you have required is go to the android manifest.xml file and add this metadata to display the icons just metadata android name and default notification icon and the, this icon launcher just add this metadata and just save it that's the tax if you wants to change the notification icon then you need to do this after that the next things that we have required is to handle the notification tab when app is terminated we have also display the notification when app is in the termination state we have handle notification tab when the app is in termination state we have already initialized the local notification system we have so a local notification when message is received next things that we have required is we need to listen for message when app is in the foreground first we have required the permission and then we have seen the notification here we have do the three four things that is first we have request the permission from the user if user give the permission then we have call the message is receive while app is in the foreground states and at the same time before send to a notification we have get the app same token and print in the console from there we have easily get the app same token it will be required when we need to send a 
push notification with a specific device here we have a title and body of the notification and this channel id must be unique and must be exact name that you have passed in the android manifest file and this is the ios notification config and the, this is the platform specific setting and this is the show notification function we have displayed the title and body of the notification after this all we have required next things that will be we need to initialize the local notification handler and firebase messaging listener inside the main function for that just notification service dot initialize notification for background messaging we have registered the top level background messaging handler for termination and background messaging states firebase messaging dot on background message from notification service dot firebase messaging background handler i think that's it i'll terminate the app from here and i will rerun the app during this time let's go to the firebase console here just restart the browser here and from here you can find the messaging section and create your first campaign we have used the firebase notification message not a in-app messaging just create it and our app is also successfully run you can see it will first ask the permission from the user if you didn't allow the permission the app is terminated but we want to send a notification first we'll give the permission we'll give the permission from here and next things that is app same token we have just copy this app same token before that i'll pass the title and the notification body i'll just say hi and notification text will be hello and i'll send the test messaging here just pass the app cm token and edit from here i'll recheck it okay and just test from here okay wow we have successfully geared the notification and this is the icon this is the custom icon if you have watched my previous tutorial during this time it will display the default icon or if you try without changing the custom icon you can see the default flutter logo here instead of this custom icon just clear it from here and let's make the app is in the background state and see there is the nothing in the notification bar let's say hello and how are you and i'll use the one image hello i'll use this image oh no this is too large i'll use the small image here okay i'll copy this image from here hello let's let's use the transparent image oh, this will be perfect let's copy the image address here and just pass it here and it's look like this and let's send the message use the same map same token and test it from here and let's see we didn't receive the background notification let's check where we have got the mistakes oh we have get the notification it takes some time see yeah this is the actual image that we have sent it some time it takes longer time yeah we have sent two time that's why we have received the notification two time if you have tried it in real device then you have got the notification in real time otherwise if you have tried it in the simulator then it takes some time to reflect here okay let's send another image let's duplicate this campaign and change the image let's copy this image from here and pass it image instead of this previous image and send it and wait until it the message will be reflect okay by this way we have successfully achieved the foreground and background notification in our flutter android application if you click on this notification it will open the app okay that's it for today's video we'll meet you on the next video okay bye, -bye.